Hi, Josh here, and you're watching 610 Bob's Builds, Why I Build Things. In this episode, I'll be properly setting the caster on my Dana 60 front axle. You know, unlike the first time I did it. So in my video, Shortening a Dana 60 Axle, I said that I made the caster of the 1C bracket the same as the original. This was stupid. Before I fix that, I want to explain what caster is. Mainly because if I don't, this video is going to be really short. So, um, here's some filler. If you want to see just the meat of the video, go to whatever timestamp is on the screen. I tell you now, but I haven't edited it yet. And wouldn't you know it, my time machine is broken. What, too much filler? What is caster? Well, look at the caster on your chair, or any caster that swivels. The wheel's axle is pushed out from the center of the swivel rotation. This allows the caster to center itself in the direction that the wheel is moving. Likewise, caster in a car allows the front wheels to center themselves after a turn. The caster in most cars is positive. This means that when you're looking at the C bracket where the wheel would be, the top of the C bracket is pushed towards the back of the car. In a car, a more severe caster angle will result in a quicker return to center after a turn. But a more severe caster angle also means that the steering system has to work harder during a turn. This is because the wheel is turning at an angle, so when you turn, the wheel is jacking up the vehicle slightly. This is probably why the original caster was only 3 to 4 degrees compared to the Jeep's 7 to 8 degrees of caster. An F-250 pickup truck, the axle's original owner, is heavy and long. A Jeep, on the other hand, is short, so a more severe caster angle is required so that the front wheels center themselves more quickly. If it didn't, a Jeep would continue in its turn much longer than what would be desired. It's also lighter, so that means less stress on the steering components. And that is how you get gold out of toothpaste. Oh, I'm glad that all you who decided to skip the fun stuff have finally joined us. Let's get back on topic. So when I just blatantly made the caster angle the same as the original, it was way too low. In fact, after I set pinion angle, it was zero. The first step is to cut the weld that is holding the C bracket in place. This is a pain in the neck. I basically cut a half inch deep groove going all the way around the C bracket. Then on the Jeep, I turn the C bracket by gently persuading it with a mini sledge. I use a digital angle gauge, wait, that needs a better name. Anyway, I use that thing to measure the angle. I set it to 8 degrees because I like a quick return to center. It also kind of fell into that angle. I measured a tie rod mount on the knuckle for my 8 degrees. I measure it with the suspension compressed and uncompressed just to make sure I didn't mess anything up. And all that is left is to re-weld the C brackets. I told you I needed that filler. And if you haven't seen them, go watch my other videos regarding my Jeep Dana 60 axle swap. I also have a somewhat active Google Plus page. Okay, stop laughing. Stop. Google Plus is not that, just, just go there. That's such a thin groove with. So I improvised. Yep, that's a Sawzall blade. Yeah, don't try this at home or well anywhere. 